hello hi my name is Asnol uh, so welcome back to my channel uh, today we're going to learn how to track the camera yeah before this in previous tutorials we have learned how to model the minecraft goat uh -huh, the, the goat <laughs> and then we learn how to texture it and then we learn how to put the set uh, weight mat and then we learn how to put the bones and then that model is ready to be animated yeah, as we want to take these animations from the videos you take uh -huh, and then copy the exact animation on the videos uh, you recorded and then put it into the light wave and then you can animate it and then once you render it later and then you can just compose it back for the CGI videos this is what we're going to learn <laughs> yeah, alright Yeah, so let's start it. Okay, so this is the footage I got from the internet. All right, so that here yeah, didn't go out, so <laughs> I always stay at home. Uh, so I don't have any new videos. All right, so I just use uh, whatever I found in whatever I found in internet. So yeah. So first I just uh, you know just drag the videos to the timeline. Uh huh. So this is the videos. Let's see. Okay. All right. So a little uh. Yeah, see, yeah, it's very beautiful, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, a little piece of advice, uh, you may not uh, want to do this camera movement <laughs> because it cannot be tracked properly. I tried, I tried. So, uh, it's not only from these uh, artifacts. Uh -huh. I tried from both Joe's, also cannot be tracked properly. So, uh, if you have to record the videos, you have to be very slow, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, very slow like this, like this. Do not like this. <laughs> it cannot be tracked okay uh, if you can you don't need uh, this all right if you can you don't need to track at all you're just using the single image and then just compose it uh, it's uh yeah it's actually also not a bad option <laughs> yeah so we are content creators or animators uh, we really really understand that some videos cannot be escaped from move right in order to uh, be the sequence and all okay so without further ado, I just right click and then I click track cameras uh -huh, and then I just uh, click advance detail analysis right uh, so just wait yeah so we need to wait until this file uh, is analyzed right it's have two step of analyzing uh -huh. just wait yeah now it's yeah now as you can see it's uh, fully tracked and then we got a good point here to put our models all right so we now have to find the base where we want to put our models all right uh -huh, so let's zoom in okay i initially want to put here but it's don't have uh, the tracks there so i may need to put somewhere else how about here yeah here is also like good uh -huh. so i want need to put my models here Yeah, so I will put uh, my model somewhere in here. So I just right click. Uh, you have to find the triangle spot, right? Triangle spot. I learned from my previous uh, tutorials. So I right click and then click null and camera. Okay. So let's see how this works. So this is our uh, exports. I mean, where you are going to put the models, right? See, hit the zeros to. Uh, see the preview uh -huh. and then click this back to see see it's track very very good it's, it's like I didn't move at all it's like uh, the model the point is there already <laughs> so it is this is very good okay uh, so now we need to adjust this uh, it's not all right it's not okay the green point need to be up okay so we have to so the green the green one uh, need to face up okay so this is our y right negativity let's see okay and then uh, you can adjust any way you like but uh, i usually put like this
Okay, as you can see, I like to put this uh, very. It's like uh, it's not this. this. Uh -huh. It just points straight. Okay, so I don't need to <laughs> do a lot of animations. All right. Okay, so if I see that's good already, let me see. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's very good, I think. So I'm going to uh, resize this. Okay, so that uh, the 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 ground of this uh, model uh, of this uh, point is a little big okay uh, so I'm going to scale it up 150 2000 maybe 5000 okay you need to see okay okay let's see uh -huh. so then yeah this is really enough for me okay so this determine the model size, right? Uh -huh. So I'm going to reset all this. Uh, I'm going to parent this uh, cameras to the nuts, and then I'm going to reset all of this to zero, 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 and then this I change back to hundreds, uh -huh. and then this all I put to zero, zero, zero. So that uh, cost this two, okay? And then I'm going to unparent it. None. Okay, and then I'm going to save. I put this uh, tracking. Okay, camera tracking. Okay, so let's see if this works. Yeah, so now we're going to export this uh, cameras and nouns into the light wave. Okay, so we can start begin to animation it. Okay, we're going to take this animation from this camera and put it. Uh, in light wave, okay so i'm going to yeah open the light wave scenes and then i'm going to select the camera first and then i'm going to export to live 3d okay so now this this is your camera see very nice uh, it's very nice okay okay and then i'm going to uh, take this model to uh, this style to I uh, export this now also to the way okay as you can see this is your yeah this, this is your where else you going to put your models okay so uh, as our reference we need uh, to export uh, this uh, videos to image because our wave cannot uh, read the video files on the background of the camera so you need to export it uh, as a to render kills are uh, these videos and then going to uh oops where is it I'm going to export as a sequence image okay so if we I go to uh jpeg jpeg sequence okay and then here you can uh, adjust your size you want the quality of the size and then uh put where you put it so simple camera tracking okay i'll just put it here okay camera tracking render so this will export uh this video as a sequence image okay sequence image uh, so that like we can understand uh the format okay so we're going to hit f6 for these uh, options we're going to load uh we're going to load we're going to load uh, the camera tracking yeah this is the sequence image okay so in here you need to change from still to sequence okay so now the cameras last frame uh, is 151 so we change okay then you're going to hit ctrl f6 on the composition you need to background image as well yeah so that See, this really works. Tada! <laughs> you see how how this all uh, connected very very good. All right. 